Uh, also, an email from a P1. There's not a contest going on here. Uh, if you go to our website, we have an ugly sweater, ugly Christmas sweater contest going on. And Marie wants to know, she says, I'm a P1. I have a quick question about entering this contest. I'm designing an ugly Christmas sweater to try to win. Can I incorporate your painful rectal itch condition into my sweater? This is a serious inquiry. And the answer is absolutely yes. Uh, absolutely. You can. Whatever I'm, it takes. Listen, I'm not one of the judges, but if you can put my painful rectal itch in there. You're moving up. Do it. <laughs> Does it have to be on the back of the sweater? Uh, up to you. Doesn't matter? It doesn't matter to me. Front and center. Yeah. How, how would you feel if you saw a photograph of your butt in yarn? <laughs> I may. I may Made out it. of yarn. I think it's kind of flattering that you want to put that in. You know? Would you have a loose thread just kind of hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be perfect. That's hilarious. <laughs> like or a worm sticking its head out of a hole right. or an apple. Right. Well, maybe she's kept the names of all the things you've tried and she's going to stitch them in. Uh, possibly. <laughs> Down the all the, all the yeah. tubes. <laughs> all the different all the ointments. <laughs> all the ointments I've used. I don't know what her idea is, but I'm yeah. intrigued by it, Marie. And I she's knitting it? Go for it. Yeah, she's making <laughs> Holy the sweater. God. And she wants. She's very big on winning this uh, ugly Christmas sweater contest. And she get on it. I wish her luck. Yeah, good luck to you. You know, this is kind of a strange. I I don't mean to focus on butts, but you know, occasionally you hear commercials for medications or Mm -hmm. medical conditions Mm -hmm. that say, "Watch out for the following symptoms." And one has stuck with me, and I can't get it out of my head. Mm -hmm. And the symptom is oily stool. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I know what a loose stool is. I know what a watery stool is. Mm -hmm. I know what a bloody stool is, but I don't know what an oily stool is. Well, I'll quote a great Supreme Court justice. I don't know what it is, but I know it when I see it. I can't define it when it comes out, but I know it when I see it. I bet I've had it. I mean, I'm I'm sure we all have at one point. Well, listen, when I ate Olestra, I ate those Olean chips. I was in a weight loss challenge 26 years ago. (laughs) Before your time, Biggie. I'm never going to eat potato chips again. (laughs) Not with Olean. That's the last potato chip I'll eat. Right. I'm allowing myself a treat right now, but that's they had something called Olean Olestra based potato chips and other snacks. It was a fat substitute, as I recall. Yes, yes. And it was far better than any baked chip, any diet chip, and they were delicious. The problem was you better be standing near a toilet because you talk about oily stool. Was it oily? Well, it came out it quick. Water? It was quick. I think it's oily because it was like a grease. That's what Olean Olestra yeah. was. It's like uh-huh. a greasy. I substance. picture oily stool like the luge. <laughs> Like in your body, it's just poosh, yeah, like quick. But yeah. that's watery. That's not. I don't know, honestly. But mm. well, watery, I think is when I think of water, I think more like diarrhea type. Oh, that's like when it just comes pour. Yeah. Like, like that's the question. Rinse. You can yeah. say it out. We're frank and we're being. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, fine. I don't. The word makes me uncomfortable. But you diarrhea. Don't like that. We don't like that word. Like the word, word. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. A biggie. I don't care for it. I don't like chocolate rain. We need to that. <laughs> yeah. What about what about the splatter patterns I have to see every time I go to the toilet? <laughs> How about the term blowing mud? I don't like that either. No, that's not. I'd rather have the technical Dropping term. Dropping bombs. I, no, I don't like that. Which you may pick one. I, but I, see, I think of oily stool as firm but quick. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah. Like oh, a, I don't. Like, like a good like handshake. Like the luge. <laughs> 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 Remember when we used to shake hands? A <laughs> proper handshake. handshake. A good handshake. Yes. Firm, Firm but quick. quick. I do not. I, not see it. I picture it as loose. <laughs> no. White coaches at the end of an NFL game. Yeah. Yeah. When, they don't okay. really, when they don't like okay. each other. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, since we're being frank, I mean, I think we've all had a bowel movement that was quicker than we thought. Like, all right, well, that came out. Oh, yes. Oh, well, well, that's, well, that's, yeah. oh, that's what I picture oily stool is, that it comes out really quick, but firm. I did so not. I think it has to be accompanied by oil uh, and oily too. substance. But having, I have seen oil. Like when I ate the Olean, that's serious business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they took that Olestra off the market, didn't they? Yeah, they I, did. They sure. put them in electric cars now, and there's lithium batteries. That Olestra. It did not last long. I mean, <laughs> six months. It's toxic. It was. It's made from plastic. Whew. And I would, when I would look back at it, there was like an oily film around it. <laughs> it didn't mix with the water. It just yeah, sat on top of it. That's true. That is really well, they don't true. Mix. It's, that, that's right. That's the truth. Uh, Fire Dude knows something about this. Fire Dude? Yeah. Fire Dude yeah. is on the... He's talking about oily stool. Fire Dude, go ahead. Hey, good morning, guys. How's everybody? Great. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah. Um, oily stool is like when you take your poop you know, and you're getting ready to do your paperwork, mm-hmm. and you turn around and, and you look, and you'll see a, like an oily sheen in the water yeah. around your poop. I have seen that. Huh. I have seen it. 
It's more of a thirty weight, forty weight. <laughs> it's a uh, Quaker State, Valvoline, like, like the or, like the water on top of chili. Uh, yes, yes, exactly. It, it does look like that. And let me ask you this: Is it a uh, firm stool or is it loose? Uh, it depends. Some of it is firm, and mm. mine's kind of been, you know, when I had my colon cancer, it was kind of uh, kind of yeah. mushy. Listen, oh, I didn't know you knew it like that. When you had colon cancer. What was the, was it pain or was it looking at your stool that showed you the first symptoms? Well, if I had been smart, I'd have noticed it way back when. But when I finally turned 50 and went and got my, uh, you know, my colonoscopy, that's when it was discovered. Okay. But, uh, well, so important. Those are so important. How's your health now? I'm good to go now. I've been cancer free for about 10, 10 years now. All right. All right. That's great. Thank you, Fire Dude. Appreciate it. I picture it loose, mm -hmm. and I picture it with that sheen he's talking about. I know exactly. And that Olestra that oh. gave it to me now. I, I want to take this to social media, but we'll get banned from Facebook. <laughs> I'll tell you right. Now. If the light hits it in the toilet, does it make that rainbow yes, pattern? Yes, yes. <laughs> like I'll, you see at like the gas station. <laughs> yeah. And I'll tell you something else. Uh, I that The very first time I had those Olean chips, it sent me immediately to the bathroom. And searing abdominal pains. Mm -hmm. But I kept on eating them. As long as they were on the market, I ate them. I'm but, losing weight. <laughs> it's the best way to lose weight. Me. And, and the, three bags a day. I tell you, though, I remember, too. Oh. It was, what a breakthrough oh. where we thought it was. Yeah. We did. And it was the cramps. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know what women go through when they're on their period, but I can only. I, I mean, Olean. really. It was, it was, that's like an Olean cramp. It didn't that. stop me. I'd still eat them. You're right. Terry, you're commenting on the oily stool. Go ahead. Yes. Good morning, P1. So when I was pregnant, I would have to eat a lot of protein or I'd get dizzy. Mm -hmm. So I was just constantly chomping on cashews, like day in, day out. Mm -hmm. And I, one day, and sorry, Chris Kelly, but I sharded, and it was pure orange oil. Oh, my God. Orange. Oh, oh no. No, that's horrible. It was like bright orange. There was honestly no stool involved. It was just orange oil. It looked like Syracuse. University of Orange. <laughs> They're called Orange helpful. Men. It's very helpful. Oh, so where you, were dear. you when this happened? I uh, just, you know, I was at home. Okay, good. Thank uh, God. Yeah, it's good yeah. to be at your home base. I don't like that term, as you know, but I've done that at the gym now three times. Three times I've yeah. had that happen to me at the gym, and you know, I can't. You know, that's what they're going to call you. I know. Like, I, when, when when all the coaches get together for their oh, Christmas party, whatever form that takes. I know. Did you ever have the charter? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You know it's him because midway through he'll just run off, I do. squeezing his cheeks. <laughs> I have to. Yeah, whatever coach gets you the most should get some sort of award. I know. And today I am so. You don't tip them? I, 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 do I tip the coaches? I, I don't. I've never taken my wallet in. Uh, I leave it in the car. So there's, there's really no yeah. way to tip yourself a note. They can't do it. You know. You can Venmo. <sighs> today I have Coach Tommy, so I'm. You know. Ooh. You know he's. I'm always excited for him, but I've I've really got to watch. Is he the one guy from out of town? Yeah, he's the out of towner, and I just rarely get Coach Tommy, and he's so great. Do they do it different in his town? Well, I don't know. He's just really good coach, and I want to always put my best foot forward with him. How would you rate Coach Tommy's music mix vis a vis Coach great. Kathy? Uh, Ooh. love Coach Kathy. You know, I love Coach. See the best music mix. I think Tommy's got great music. I mean, I've only been to two of his classes, but both times he's had real good. I like a like a pop top forty mix, you know. Mm -hmm. But he does a great job. I mean, all of them do a great job. But when I get Coach Tommy, I always like to, you know, run a little mm. faster and kind of show off a little more uh, uh -huh. when I'm in there. So I cannot Smell like Diet Coke in here. <laughs> <laughs> who's drinking Diet Coke? <laughs> what if Coach Tommy comes to you and goes, hey, uh, privately, who's the sharder? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a, a guy I can trust. Who yeah. do you think it is? <laughs> I, I've been told there's a shorter in this class. Um, uh, Coach, what do you think about that, that chick over there on Treadmill 3? <laughs> Is she the shorter? I've heard there's a shorter in this class. <laughs> I have to go. I have Omicron. <laughs>